Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be making our way through Mogwin's Palace. But before we do, like always... Let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen. And I did absolutely nothing. So with that all being said, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we're going to hop on Torrent. And then we're going to start making our way down here. Grab a Golden Rune 11. Then we're going to veer off to the left, grab a smithing stone six, and then a blood rose. And then we're going to stick to the right side, going inside here, get the ash of war blood tax along with a somber smithing stone nine. over here get an amazing spell this is swarm of flies really good for all you bleed builds out there just keep sticking to the right side here grab a golden rune 13 smithing stone 6 and then we're gonna come over here what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure to kill this guy here get rid of the big skeleton guy be able to grab some items freely over here we have another one So want to make sure that you're taking these guys out and then there is one more item that I passed up should be right over here it's in a bush so it's kind of hard to see that I passed it up it's a golden rune 12, I believe. Ah, there it is. See what I mean? It, it's really hard to see. It's in a bush. But it's just in between here. Now we can come over here. Get ghost glove wart 9. And then we're going to hop off torrent. And for all of those people that did not get the map, you can go ahead and get the map fragment right here. And then we'll come up this way, Light of Grace. And then activate this summoning pool. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna fast travel all the way back over to the Palace Approach Ledge Road. Now we're going to run straight down. By the way, this is a really good spot right here to farm up some ruins. If anybody is short some ruins and wants to level up, good spot to do that. Let's go ahead and summon in our mimic tier. We want to be very careful. We're going to be fighting a bunch of these albinorics. 
but they can be very dangerous over here, so take caution. If you have to run away, let your mimic tier do the majority of the work. they do that spinning attack get out of the way that thing hurts so bad but try to get your mimic tier to take as much aggro as you can Kind of circle the trees. Should be another item right here. Hero Ruin 3. Definitely want that. Come over here. Try not to get too far away, your Mimic tier will disappear if so. That should be all of them. The only reason I took all of these guys out is because we're going to be getting invaded in just a moment. And you don't want to back up and have all those Albanorics gang up on you while you are fighting an invader. Just get a little closer here. Right here, these bubbles is how you know where they're going to invade you at. At least I think that's how that works. And then over there you can see a bird. We're going to fight all of these birds. Because we're going to get invaded three more times over here Don't worry about those items over there. We'll get them once we're at the end of this area. Go ahead and take these dogs out. Up here, we're going to kill these dogs. And then we're going to sneak up on this bird. Get a charge R2 and then use our Bloodhound step. Just keep hitting it. Pretty easy kill on that bird. And then up top, there's another one. Just go ahead and shoot it. If 
For some reason, it just yeets itself off the cliff and kills itself. Don't ask me why. I don't know. Over here, we're going to get the Halig Drake Talisman plus two. Over there, there's some dogs as well. Only two of them. You don't have to worry about them. They're really not a threat to you. Right here, I like to get the attention of that bird just across the way. Bring it over here. Do not go any further over there or you're going to get invaded. And then you're going to be fighting one of these birds at the same time as you're being invaded. And that is very dangerous to be dealing with. So right over here, if we get this item... This is where we're going to get invaded. Again, you can tell from the bubbles in the blood. So if we're killing that enemy, we get the white mask and the war surgeon's armor set. Get the nomadic warriors cookbook 24. And then we're going to hop on torrent. Come over here for some rock grease. And then right here, we can jump up and kill some dogs. Grab a golden seed that we don't need. And then right down here, we're going to get invaded again. These guys just walk into your bloodhound step. It's pretty amazing. And then that is the last one we got to kill. You don't actually have to kill that one, but I like to regardless. Okay, grab the last two items. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fast travel over to the Dynasty Mausoleum Entrance. Let's start making our way up to Mogwin's palace. Be really careful. There are some of the explodey dudes, but they're not going to explode into fire. They're going to explode into a blood mist. So be very careful with that. Grab some smithing stone sevens. Grab a Newman rune. We should be able to level up six to nine times after this video. If not, I'll probably farm up a few runes just to level us up a little bit. I think, and I'm not sure, I'm either going to level up to 190 or 200. really careful some more of those explody guys I like to just run around to make sure that I don't get hit by them
Get a blood rose. Well, eight of them, if we're being precise. And then right in here, we're going to summon in our mimic tier. Heal ourselves. Wait for him to finish summoning in. And then we're going to come up here. him down go ahead and heal ourselves and then we're going to talk to this merchant oh dear you yeah, might i terribly sorry uh are you here as a customer we can buy a couple of things here number one some stone sword keys and then some rune arcs along with the Lost Ash of War. Anything else is up to you if you want to buy it or not. Um, I'm not going to worry about any of this stuff. I, I must apologize. I, 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 I'm afraid of very little to offer. These sanguine nobles are going to keep summoning in, so just be aware of that. Get us a Lord's Rune. Pretty sweet find right there. Grab the Great Ghost Glove War along with a Golden Centipede. Three smithing stone eights. I think another one summoned in right over here. Yep, he did. Okay, when they do that, get out of there. That will cause blood loss buildup really fast. Come over here for Ghost Glove Wart 9. And then that, that uh, Mimic tier of yours is probably going to come down there and try to kill a bunch of those corpses or whatever zombies. We're going to come over here, we're going to light the grace, and then we're going to activate this summoning pool, and then we're going to come over here, we're going to invade the world of White Mask Vare. It shouldn't be a hard fight for everybody. He's pretty squishy, but he can cause blood loss buildup, so be careful about that. You seek violence, heedless of my warning, though you have been raised to a knight of the dynasty. I am pained to the very depths of my being. I'll ensure you regret this, my lambkin. Enjoy your miserable death.
why must I be disgraced by this lowborn? Let's go ahead and talk to Vare a few times. Oh, luminary Moog, please grant the strength you promised. I have given everything, please, my lord, please answer me, luminary Moog. Bless the Mogwin dynasty with love. So for killing him and speaking to him, we're going to get six bloody fingers along with his bouquet. If you want to rest at the grace, you can. I'm not going to bother. Not just yet, that is. So over here, we can see a bunch of enemies. What we're going to do is veer off to the left. We're going to come behind here. We're going to have one of those sanguine nobles to fight. Grab that golden rune 13 first. But you don't want to fight the sanguine noble along with the albinorx all at the same time. It's just asking for trouble. Wait for him to come over here. We want him to jump over the wall is what we want him to do. Get out of that stuff there wait for that to dissipate takes a good minute for it to dissipate but just be patient And then we want to get the attention of these Albinorix. Don't let them do the rolly thing on you. That was a happy accident. We're going to jump back over this wall. Get them to come over here. Kind of bunch them up if you can. Some of them will jump over. Some of them will just kind of stand at the wall. Just depends. Got all of them killed. And then we're going to come up here. And get ourselves a somber ancient dragon smithing stone so now you should have quite a few of them right there is the elevator that we want to take up but first what we want to do is come over here rest at the grace and we're going to switch out one of our tears in our wondrous flask of physic so it doesn't matter which one you switch out you just want to make sure that you put on the purifying crystal tier and this is going to help us in the Moog fight. He's going to do an attack where he lifts his staff up three different times and then he's going to like unleash a blood attack. That's just going to decimate your health if you don't have this on. So do make sure that you have that on. What we're going to do is we're going to hug the wall. We don't want to get the attention of all those enemies. As we're taking the elevator up, that will be bad news bears.
So what we're going to do is we're going to send the elevator back down just in case we die. And then we're going to go into the boss arena. Dearest Mikola, <sighs> you must abide alone a while. Welcome, honored guest, to the birthplace of our dynasty. Go ahead and summon in the Mimic tier. Heal yourself. Let Moog kind of come to you. We're going to use our Rot Breath on him. Thrice. So that's when he does that. You want to put your... Use your uh, Bubble tier or the Wondrous Flask of Physic. I was struggling to remember what the word was that I was trying to find. Killing him, we get Mog's Great Rune along with his Remembrance. I'm really sorry. I did not mean to kill him that fast. I wanted to show everybody his attack. Uh, but the Blood Loss buildup kind of procced before I could do that. But what he'll do is he'll thrust his spear up three different times and it will crack the bubble tier until it breaks. But you won't take any damage. It'll also heal him a little bit. But as long as you're continuously hitting him as he's doing that, uh, the healing won't seem as bad. But if you let him just continuously do that without hitting him, he'll heal for quite a bit. All right. Now that that's all been said and done, let's go ahead and go back to the overworld and go over to the Divine Tower of East Altus. I'll see everybody over there. Go ahead and grab Mogwin's Great Rune. And then where we're going to go is over to the Round Table Hold. I'll see everybody over there. We're going to come over to the Finger Maiden first. Talk to her. So for killing Mog, we can get Mogwin's Sacred Spear. That's pretty cool. It'll allow you to do the same attack as he was doing, or well, I was going to show off, but didn't get a chance to, where you just thrust your spear in the air and it'll actually have a blood loss proc on a 
enemy or if you're in PvP, pretty cool to use. Uh, the Blood Boon, you kind of toss out blood in front of you and it causes blood loss buildup. Pretty cool, I guess. I, I don't really use it, but I've used it before. Uh, it's just a blood loss slash fire attack. Now go forth. Let's go ahead and go talk to Sir Gideon. We got quite a bit of dialogue to get through with him. I hear you help get the girl back on her feet. Though I'm not her foster father anymore, I'd still like to thank you. Sorry for the time you had to waste. Ah. I see you've laid your hands on the other secret medallion. I'm glad to see my council has borne fruit, but the honor of the deed is yours alone. You've made more of yourself than Ensha has. Now, more importantly, both secret medallions are in your hands. I suppose you'd like to know then. What awaits you on the path ahead? Me too, my friend. Me too. I wait with bated breath. Oh, so that's where the so-called Lord of Blood was hiding himself, eh? A fitting little squat for that deluded maniac to bleat about the revival of his precious dynasty. While he turns our fellow tarnished into bloody fingers, let him stay there. That way, his delusions will remain as they are, distant and unattainable. But perhaps it's worth looking into. If what I've heard is right, then maybe. Ah, my apologies. Lost myself for a moment there. The information you've shared is of great value. As promised, your reward. And it is a wondrous thing indeed. You are a true fellow. All I ask is that you remain constant. Ah, I see. So Mikola was with the Lord of Blood after all. That is some fine intelligence indeed. With it, the final clue has been brought into the light. One of the last few pieces the round table. I need to put everything together. As promised, allow me to impart to you the last of the secret rites known only to me. Well, I wonder what comes next. If he continues his slumber within the cocoon, all would be well. But perhaps it would be safer to destroy it. Nicola is the one thing that remains a mystery to me. Okay, now that we have got Sir Gideon's dialogue out of the way, what we're going to do is go all the way up to the north and go to the town of Ordenia. I will see everybody over there. Alrighty, everyone. This is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or good night, whatever time it may be, and you're part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.